In healthcare, we have Gilead. <clears throat> now, this is what <clears throat> I was kind of afraid of. Now, obviously, we broke out of our little triangle. We got rejected on earnings. What did our earnings say? So we beat on earnings. Okay, so this is this is this is good. This is good. I don't like the fact that we went right back into the triangle, but if we were to take our drawings away, then this looks I the, the drop looks absolutely horrendous. Now don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, the drop looks horrendous. But it it really looks like it it basically we oh wow we got rejected at the breakout but it we got rejected at like a key spot like where did it, the high so we are one tick away from target right so I I don't see anything too wrong with this that looks like it's just like a a, a normal almost release uh, liquidation break. Um, a lot of anticipation, a lot of people trying to break this uh, resistance. It broke, got shot down. As long as we hold above the 67, 77, I have no problem with this stock. I, I like it. I would get some more or even sell some calls again or sell some, yeah, sell some calls or some puts, excuse me, against the 67. BMY, Bristol Myers. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't see anything wrong with this. Uh, it, it got, uh, we supposed to feed the ducks on the day that the earnings came out. Eh, five cents above. No. Yeah, about five cents above. Nothing too too great. But um, as long as the pandemic keeps on going, all the health care stocks, I don't really see them going down just because, you know, more people are using their drugs. I see as long as we stay above this teal line, like yeah, we've had it before. I, I have nothing wrong with this stock. I, I kind of say we're on full cylinders. Um, I'd almost kind of wait for it to come back to this, but then let's let's hold it back to the 66 level or area. Then above the 6792 is is a screaming buy for me looking to head up to the 7084. Sarepta, yeah, um, very disappointing, and this is, um, yeah, terrible. We do have earnings coming up on the 4th. Hopefully, we are better, right? The estimate was negative $2 last time. It was only negative $1.50. Uh, hopefully, the therapeutics can put something together. Hopefully they don't fabricate their numbers, obviously, but show us a sign because you're looking, you're, you're getting worse, not better. Over here, when was this? June fifteenth. Yeah, I thought we had something going, but then you, uh, you disappointed all of us. I'd have to say, you disappointed all of us, especially since this huge drop off on the seventh. Right, you were a hundred and sixty-seven dollars stock, and now you're sixty. So be careful. With this one, be very careful. A B B B. Oh come on, this is ridiculous. Where did we? Okay, so we're in line. The guidance must have been absolutely horrendous because this stock just got destroyed on Friday. But at the same time, you know, just just to kind of say, you know, at the same time, it did get destroyed after it broke out to a new high of 119 and we hit resist oh we're we're a little off of resistance what five cents from from the target area which you know that five cents could be because eric didn't really maybe yeah, i didn't draw it perfect but uh we're we're too close to really complain too much um yeah because we're just wiping out one two three four five six basically six trading days we just took out um yeah Took out a whole week worth of work in one day. Yeah, it's very scary, but at the same time, we we did hit the brand new high uh, for over a year. So I wouldn't be concerned too much as long as we can hold this teal line at one fourteen or one fifteen. J and J Johnson and Johnson. We had our numbers. 
we beat our numbers by 20 cents. We need to hold the 171. We hold that 171, then goodbye. Sayonara. We are doing amazing and up, up, and away. I don't know why. I No. How do you get these things off? I don't even want this notification. It's going to continuously do this because I want nothing to do with this. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Johnson & Johnson looking great. We got dividends coming out pretty soon. Let's see when the dividend is coming. Dividend is $1 on, on the 23rd. So just keep that in mind. You kind of have to put a lot of money into it to get that dollar. But, you know, you still can get a dollar. AstraZeneca. What happened, Astra? You were doing amazing in the beginning of July. And then just good. Bye, good night. Can't get yourself together. Earnings come out. Well, this is another European stock, so it doesn't really tell us anything. Um, yeah, I don't like it until we get above this teal line. When we're above this teal line, I will be interested again. But other than that, no. But we do have to keep in mind. Keep this in mind. We are above our 50%. And we are above the low, the most recent low which was on August 7th or July 7th, 19th of basically 56. So keep everything in mind. Uh, as long as we're above the 50, we're still bullish, but I would like to see it above this teal line of give or take 57.62. United Health, absolutely no problem with it. No problem. We've already got through earnings, which we beat. Uh, by 30 cents. Um, yeah, come into our 127 extension, 404, and then let's 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 attempt for this 425 takeover. Let's attack this 425 and let's let's try and see. I do see us going to the 407, holding our 407. If we can, then look for it to break of this 420, which is the 422 would be our major break. So let's see what happens over the next little bit now be careful this could just bow take it out like this right one day going from 407 to 420 so it has the potential to pretty much move because let's remember it's a 400 dollars stock so a one percent move is four dollars right so keep that in mind a half a percent is two dollars so it has every 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 capability to go what four dollars a one percent two percent and we're already at 420 so just keep that in mind i uh, yeah not not the most excited with this again we're below the 50 so it's bearish and i don't really want to we're only really looking at bullish things at the moment we did not beat on earnings so merc i i am sorry but i have to say you're still not in the good graces you are below and until you can get your stuff together, I can't say I like you. Pfizer, just wow. That's all I can say. It 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 took took it forever to make a massive move, but it finally did, and it started back in August or July nineteenth. Oops. We hit our target nearly perfectly, off by one penny, but whatever. It's close enough. Um, then it's kind of obvious we were going to get rejected. It's time to draw some new lines to kind of give us a better perspective. So there we go. That's our new perspective. As long as it stays above the 4172, no problem at all. And Modera, Moderna, yeah. I've warned you guys last few weeks, man. I think I we first started talking about it back in May. Um, but now we talked about it again in August or September or whatever it's called, July. And now we are right back at brand new highs. I thought we were going to come down a little bit higher, a little bit to the 284. But hey, 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 this stock is 
up, up, and away. If you remember, this is what's crazy. Look at how, look at this parabolic. This is September. No, well, if we were to go back, like, uh, right around the beginning of Corona, this was like a $30 stock. Even in September of last year, this was a $53 stock. We're looking at 362 Talk about massive growth. When is earnings? Earnings 8.5. Be very careful. This The earnings could completely wipe us out or the earnings could completely just make this go even more parabolic than which it already has. So just to put things in perspective, we're going from the last low, which was right around here to the high. I mind you, we're off just a little bit. We're actually off by like a dollar, but it's fine. Give us kind of frame of reference. As long as we stay above the 289, which is extremely far away from here, it is still technically bullish. So that gives us a nice little summary of our uh, healthcare. But yeah, uh, earnings coming up with the Moder Moderna. So just be careful. But yeah, if they have blowout earnings, sky's the limit for this one. And then watch for the, the, the stock split. Because if this gets too high, I see them wanting the stock split pretty soon. And then bringing us back down to 100. 